We, we're tired of waiting to have to go see Marvel for decades. Fix this Rona. But Walmart is trying to take advantage of a loop of a, a hole in the marketplace. Take Walmart a look at this. is transforming 160 of its store parking lots into drive in theaters. That's starting next month. Meant the coronavirus pandemic drive ins have been making a bit of a comeback. They're a safer alternative to a traditional movie theater that remain closed in much of the United States. Walmart is teaming up with Tribeca Enterprises for the films, locations, and movie titles. Those have not been announced yet. We'll see what's coming to a Walmart near you. Hmm, that could be big. Ooh, now, Larry, wait a minute, but you said you done with Walmart. So you mean to tell me that if they get the right movie for a drive-in in their parking lot, are you saying you are going to summit Walmart and sit in the parking lot? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. And even if I do, I'm going to say I didn't. <laughs> you liar. Now you lying like San Diego Karen. Talking about you got a medical condition. <laughs> Hey, hey, come on, man. You yeah, can be I, honest with us. Just, in all seriousness, it could be a lot of fun. I, I used to yeah. enjoy going to the drive-in when I was younger. I enjoy. I mean, I, I went to the drive-in from the time I was a kid all the way up to when I was an undergrad. I had a lot of fun, you know? Okay. And so I, I could see him coming, bringing it back. It's a good way, I think, for people to be out and enjoy themselves and... You know, it, assuming the weather's good, that's the only time that it really goes bad is when the weather's bad. I mean, if it's like, if it's cold, it's not a big deal. But if it starts to rain, then it sucks, you know? <laughs> so that, it just leads, it leads me to ask a whole lot of questions that they didn't answer. So they haven't released what theaters are going to be showing, having this parking lot movie theater. Excuse me, they haven't released what Walmarts are going to have it. Secondly, what are they going to charge? And do you think they will somehow try to control you having snacks in your car? Or would they be encouraging you to maybe walk in Walmart buy a snack? What you think? Well, you know what they could do, actually? They could actually have a special drive-in set, you know, drive-in app set up so that once you're there, you know, if they if they do like they did at the actual drive-in movies where they tell you which number to go to and they have the different aisles with the numbers, you could order food from that drive-in app and have somebody bring it to your car. They might do that. So they you might know, do you that. Might show up with your own stuff, but maybe your kids want some candy or maybe you want soda or something else. And you hop on your, your Walmart drive-in app and say, yeah, I would like to get some, some junior mints or some licorice or whatever. And then you, you pay for it right in the app and boom, a couple minutes later, someone shows up to your window and, and, uh, and brings you your candy and your snacks. See, here you go. You meant to say liquor. You try to say, I, I, I caught that, Sneaky. You meant to say liquor. You're going to go to Walmart, <laughs> have them bring you malt liquor right to the car while you're watching Avengers Age of Neutron, whatever you're watching. <laughs> and, and you're just going to be sitting in the parking lot getting faded. But I'm, I really want to know what are they going to charge and which yeah. Walmarts are going to do it. And they mentioned that they're partnering with a specific movie um, outlet but I don't know what movies that outlet is producing or if they have anything big. So um, I will try it if they get the right movie. And I honestly think that this could be the reimagining of something that people love from what, the 60s all the way to the late 80s. Yeah, I think I feel like I feel like um, this would have been a good place for for AMC or Regal or somebody to partner with. They should have partnered with walmart because they already have the licenses to show these movies and mm -hmm. so if they they already have the agreements in place it would just be a difference of saying okay well we're going to show them at such and such location instead of this other lo you know instead of our our in place the our our you know our indoor theater and that would have worked out well i think for for both parties mm -hmm. and but what I what I see really could, happening could be is that they're just this could just end up being a new revenue stream for Walmart. It really could be something mm -hmm. where you start to see Walmart go in, use the either use their parking lots or find open spaces and just start Walmart movies. I mean, the Walmart yeah. has enough power from its stores to say, hey, we want access to these movies in our theaters and we want them exclusive like walmart has done stuff where they've said we want exclusive rights to this dvd or this movie to only be on in dvd at our at our stores and we only want this movie to be on streaming on our platforms 
And they could do the same thing if they if they have enough of these theaters open, enough of these mm -hmm. drive drive uh you know sort of drive in things open in the in the parking lots. They could demand exclusivity like that and make it work. Walmart you know? owns Voodoo. Have you heard of Voodoo? Yeah, are you. Walmart owns them, and they have a partnership with a company called Spark. And mm. so, you know, they already got select movies that they do business with. And Walmart, um, typically, you know, they buy up a big space and they have extra parking across the whole parking lot. So right. I could easily see this being a reimagining of something that used to not work, but because of the times we living in, you get this cranking quick enough, man, Walmart could be capitalizing on some revenue. So yeah. I'll follow the story and see where it goes, man. I, um, I'm hoping for the best. I'm still not going to buy any Walmart stock anytime soon until I see how this pans out.